Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. In today's HitFilm tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can add realistic camera shake to your videos. This can be done inside of HitFilm Express completely for free as we are going to be using the two point tracker and also some free clips from Action VFX. These clips are amazing high quality uh, videos of basically a sheet of paper with a lot, many, many dots on them, which then you track and then you can apply the tracking data to your footage that was say shot on a locked off tripod and then it will add the camera movement to that footage. So let's get on with this tutorial. So the first thing that you want to do is choose your clip. You can download all of these clips for free from Action VFX. I will leave a link to this specific uh, pack uh, in the description. I'll also leave a link to the Action VFX website so you can go and have a look at all of the other packs. But if you download the, this pack, then you'll get all of these pieces of footage, which you can then follow along using in this tutorial. As you can see, they are named to help you identify which one is which with different uh, shake levels such as medium, light, heavy, and then you've also got different ones such as vehicle and zoom in, zoom out, and also impact and earthquakes. I'm going to go for a fairly subtle look, so I'm going to go with normal medium 1, or normal medium 2 because it's that tiny bit longer, so it will definitely fit my footage. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this clip and select make composite shot because you can only track footage using the tracker inside of HitFilm Express inside of the composite shot timeline. I'm just going to rename this to track, track comp, just so that then you can tell the difference between the track comp and the track point that we're going to be creating, and then just want to hit OK. This will then create a new composite shot with the footage of the piece of paper in it. What I would recommend doing now is creating a new point layer and renaming it to track. And this is where we will be applying the tracking data that we're going to capture in a second. So now what you want to do is select your clip and click on the small arrow that's next to it and then click on the green plus next to tracks. This will create a new tracker. However, as we're not just wanting to capture one singular point, we're wanting to capture the rotation and scale as well, you need to change it from the single point type over to the double point type. And this will create two tracking markers that you can place adjacent to each other. So I'm going to do that. I'm also just going to get the red box and make it smaller around the target position. For some reason I didn't decide to do that on the first frame, which I would recommend doing. So go to the first frame and set up your tracking points. And then hit the track forward button. You might want to keep an eye on your tracks in case they go off of their points. However, this should do a fairly decent job as these clips were shot on a fairly high shutter speed. So there isn't very much motion blur, which shouldn't confuse the track too much. Once you've gone through and tracked the entire clip, you then just need to go down to the step 2 options and change the layer to being the point that you made earlier and make sure you check rotation and scale and then just hit apply. And this will move all of the tracking data that we just captured over to the track point. So as you can see, if I go into the transform settings, you can actually see that the position, scale and rotation uh, properties have keyframes um, for each of those things. Then what you want to do is find your footage, so I'm using this from my uh, teleportation tutorial which you can check out uh, by clicking on the eye in the top right hand corner of the screen. And what I'm going to do here is just right click and select make composite shot. I'm going to call this teleport 
and then I'm just going to hit OK. And then I'm going to go back over to my track comp and copy the track point into the teleport comp. And then if you just wait a second, you will then see that the point appears in the timeline. And then all you need to do is parent the footage to the track point. And then as you can see, the footage will then move with the track point. What you want to do is just scale that up so that you don't have the black bars anymore. And then if I just do a quick RAM preview of this, and as you can see from this RAM preview I've just done, the handheld camera shake has now been applied to the footage, making it look like it was shot on a camera that was handheld. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe, as that would be greatly appreciated. And if you have any questions, then please feel free to ask them down in the comments below. Once again, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.